If you have driven through one of the Nordic countries like Denmark, Sweden, Finland, or Norway, you may have noticed some of the unique trucks you will come across. The trucks in these countries stand out quite a bit from the rest of Europe with their unique decorations, colors, and equipment, where each haulier has a unique look on their trucks, and where trucks are rebuilt and painted beyond recognition. But why make so much out of a truck that might have to be replaced 5 to 7 years later? That and much more you will get the answer to in this video. In the Nordic countries, there are a lot of small and medium-sized hauliers with 1 to 10 trucks in their fleet. Many are one-man truckers who own their own truck or where they have 2 to 4 trucks but also drive themselves. The hauliers spend endless hours in their trucks and many sleep in them. It is practically both their office and home for a large part of the week. Therefore, the exterior and equipment mean a lot to this type of trucker. They want their truck to stand out, look good, and have all the equipment that can be added, such as the large 750 and 770 horsepower engines Volvo and Scania can deliver. Also, the fact that they have to drive the truck themselves makes them willing to spend more money and to do something extra out of their truck. Where in the big companies, there is a purchasing manager who cares more about the purchase price of the truck rather than how it looks. Trucking is a lifestyle. In the Nordic countries, trucking is a lifestyle, and which brand you drive and how many horsepower it has is of great importance. The trucks are rebuilt with side skirts, door panels, LED lights and lamps, chrome hangers, bull bars, hydraulic system, and much more. In addition, they paint their trucks in unique colors that represent their company and that you can easily recognize when you drive past them on the Nordic highways. The truck brands Volvo and Scania are dominating here and have a huge market share. It also has something to do with the fact that they are both produced in Sweden, of course. But also because they offer some unique features that are adapted to the Nordic market. Such as tandem lift, single mounted boogie lift, 4 axle chassis on full air suspension, the largest engines and many other factory options which make them incredibly versatile for the many different tasks trucks perform in the Nordic countries. There are also lots of truck shows in Sweden, Finland, Norway, and Denmark where hundreds of truckers come to show off their trucks and where prizes are awarded to the best looking and most unique. Their unique truck rules. The rules in the Nordic countries are very different. There are different rules for weight, width, and lengths depending on the total number of axles on the truck and trailer semi-trailer. In general, the rules in most countries in the EU are a total length of 18.75 meters and 40 or 44 tons. But in the Nordic, other special rules apply. As you can see, in Sweden, 64 tons and 24 meters is allowed, but 74 tons and 25.25 on some roads and in Finland, 76 tons is allowed. They are also doing test routes in Finland with up to 94 tons total gross weight and up to 31.5 meters in length. They therefore have considerably longer and heavier vehicles than the rest of Europe, which is why these large engines with over 700 horsepower are also chosen, as it takes a lot of effort to pull so many tons. Not only do they drive with higher weights, but both Finland and Sweden have very varied landscapes, with steep climbs in the terrain compared to the rest of Europe. How the Nordic trucks are specified Because there are such unique rules in these countries, you also see some special trucks that are adapted to the rules that are allowed. You therefore see quite a lot of 3 and 4 axle trucks with both rotatable and liftable trailing axles, which make it possible to shift the weight of the cargo to the pulling axles if snow or ice makes the road grip slippery. Over 70% of trucks in the Nordic countries are Scania or Volvos, typically with between 600 and 770 horsepower. There are also a lot of special built trucks equipped with cranes, hook lift and other specially adapted trucks. Lack of truck drivers In Europe, up to 425,000 truck driver positions remain unfilled in 2021 and is expected to reach up to 600,000 in 2022. 
This increases the demand for good and stable truck drivers. Therefore, there are many of the Nordic hauliers who really make something out of their trucks and equip them with all the extra equipment you can choose and the biggest engines in order to attract the best and most skilled drivers. When the truck driver has to choose where they want to work, things like salary, working conditions, meeting times, etc. naturally come into play. But which truck they are going to drive, what equipment and engine it has, and how it looks are also of great importance to many, since a truck driver spends an incredible number of hours in the truck. You therefore have the opportunity to attract some of the best drivers if you make a little more out of your trucks and choose a lot of extra equipment in these countries. The trucks in the Nordic countries are some of the most unique and modified trucks you will come across. We hope you learned something new about the trucks in the Nordic countries and enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for much more.